Do you love your coffee and love your Starbucks, but just wanna find a way to have a healthier, lower sugar drink? Well, make sure to stick around because I'm gonna teach you the easiest tips and tricks to lower the sugar content and improve the health and nutrition of your Starbucks drink. Hey there, and welcome back Dark Blue community. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Katie, registered dietitian and personal trainer, and I'm here to help you build an active, fit lifestyle while fueling your body intuitively. So I do nutrition coaching both online and in person, and I also do video educations for nutrition and fitness like this one. So if you're interested in learning more, then please hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all my future videos. You'll also be able to check out any links below if you're interested in working with me or just chatting a little more following me on other social media so make sure to check that out as well okay so let's jump straight into today's video which is how to order a healthier drink at Starbucks so my first tip for ordering a healthier drink at Starbucks is to take the normal drink that you usually have and love and ask for half the pumps of syrup really simple tip but this is gonna cut down majorly on sugar and the calories that you get from sugar. So just as a little background, a tall has three pumps of syrup, a grande has four, and then a venti has five. So yes, you can have half pumps. If you wanna make it easy on your barista, you can just ask for you know one pump, two pumps, something easy like that. But in this case, if you chose to do it just straight half, it would be one and a half pumps for a tall, two pumps for a grande, and then two and a half pumps for a venti. So if you wanna do it like that, you don't even have to switch syrups or anything else in your drink if you do this you're gonna cut down majorly on sugar typically each pump of syrup has 20 calories and 5 grams of sugar so if that gives you a little idea of how much sugar you'd be cutting down on if you had half the pumps in your drink then hopefully that helps motivate you to do that next time because there's nothing wrong with a little sugar in our lives but most of the time especially when caffeine is involved we don't just need a ton of caffeine and a ton of sugar we can totally make do with a moderate amount of bulk. Another way that you can cut down on sugar content is switch to sugar-free or have half pumps sugar-free, half pumps regular if you wanna like kinda do a half and half and not totally switch over to the sugar-free dark side. Now I know some of you aren't huge fans of sugar-free and I totally understand that. Everyone has their own opinions on it. In moderation, sugar-free syrups aren't gonna do much harm. It's when we have tons and tons of it that it could potentially cause harm. So I feel like if you're having it once a week, twice a week, or even once a day in your Starbucks drink, I don't think that that's that bad of a thing personally, but take this tip as you will. If you want to, just take tip number one and skip over this one. This is for those of you who want your drink to still be really sweet and enjoyable, but you don't wanna have full sugar syrups. Tip number three is to ask for almond milk, soy milk, or skim milk instead of the traditional 2% or whole milk. So usually, if I'm not mistaken, from my research, I found out that most of the time they're using 2%. I feel like somewhere along the line I've heard that they used whole milk too. If you want to cut down on calories or fat, then this is a good way to do that. So depending on your preference, you can do almond milk, soy milk, or skim milk. And I believe some places they have coconut milk. Coconut milk is still gonna be higher in fat, but this is just another option if you want to have an alternative to dairy milk. Now this does cost extra, so it can be a little bit of a strain for those of you who are dairy free and you wanna have an alternative option, but a little trick that I learned is that if you have something like say an Americano which is espresso and water then you can say have an extra splash of soy and that won't cost anything extra so next time that you order at Starbucks ask for an extra splash of whatever drink you choose and you shouldn't be charged anything for it at least at the two places that I usually order Starbucks from they never charge me when I ask for just an extra splash tip number four is to order something like a nitro cold brew this is gonna be a lot less bitter than traditional coffee or espresso and that way you can use less sugar to sweeten your beverage with therefore making it healthier you can also do this with some of their teas if you want to have something other than coffee traditionally those are gonna be a little less sweet Sweet, and you can use some of the same tips that we used with coffee, but just switch it to your tea drink. 
So my final tip is a bonus tip, and it's not so much what to cut out or swap, but it's what to add in to make it a little bit more nutritious. You can always add a packet or a scoop of collagen protein, and that will add 10 grams of protein per serving to your drink. So this way, instead of just having a lot of caffeine and a lot of sugar, you'll have some protein to balance that out. So this isn't just a big jolt of energy, it's more long lasting energy and something that fills and satisfies your hunger a little bit too. Protein keeps us full for a long period of time, whereas carbs are a short burst of energy, and so therefore they're good for the short term, but not necessarily long term. Collagen is one of our most abundant connective tissue proteins in our body, so you'll notice benefits for joints, hair, skin, nails, and also for bones. Well, you might not necessarily notice a difference in your bones, but you might feel that difference or see it if you do any bone density scans. The way collagen works is it kind of goes towards what your body needs in the moment. So if you're experiencing joint pain, most likely the collagen that you supplement with is going to be used for that part of your body and maybe not so much for your hair, skin, and nails. Or if your hair and nails are brittle and your bones are fine and everything else in your body is working well, then it might be used for that. So it kind of is a smart system and it's used for what it's needed for. So a lot of people ask me what it's used for. So just to fill you in a little bit, that's kind of how collagen protein works. So if you want to learn more about that, I can definitely do a separate video, but just let me know in the comment section below if you'd be interested in that. I really love it when you guys connect with me in the comment section below, so make sure to hit the like button and leave a little comment for me so we can chat together. And if you have any ideas for future videos that you'd like to see or questions that you'd like to see answered, then make sure to tell me in the comment section below. I have some nutrition ideas planned for the holidays and also some workout videos. This is something new that I've been trying, but it's something that I've always wanted to do. So if you have certain body parts that you want to move or gain strength in in the next few weeks, then please leave all your feedback in the comments. So before I say the word comments one more time, <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys go. I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.